automotive advertisers have gained significant lift from the migration of the sight, sound, and motion of TV and web advertising over to video platforms. I have three big trends that we see across the automotive space. Uh, the first one is video, the second is around user-generated content, and the third is really about cross-pollination and diversifying your social media strategy. So I'll talk about those, those three in turn. Now the first is video, and this is a little bit of a phenomenon across multiple categories, but we really saw this play out in social video where we saw that across all of the automotive category, engagement had grown 16% year over year in the first quarter, but for video, it actually grew by 228%. So a really significant lift for those advertisers, those automotive advertisers who are taking the time to encompass sight, sound and motion into their social content. And we saw that both across Facebook as well as Twitter and also on Instagram, particularly towards the latter part of 2014. Uh, so that was one of the first big trending areas. The second thing we saw was automotive marketers really paying attention to what their social audiences were crafting on their behalf in the form of repurposing user-generated content. And that can be a little bit risque when you think about it as a marketer because you're essentially you know, enabling your own customers to tell your story, um, but it really paid off for um, advertisers uh, across the automotive space where they were finding some of the best UGC in the form of video and photos and then actually publishing that through their own public profiles. And there's beautiful payoff for the person as well, who really does get a kick out of seeing their content uh, republished back to the entire audience of their favorite automotive brand. Um, and there's a lot of customer experience and customer stories uh, which really worked well in that regard. And then finally, um, talking through how brands diversified their social strategy. Um, and for here, we saw a lot of interplay, particularly between Facebook and Instagram, where early on in the past couple of years, many auto advertisers have been spending their dollars and their resources building up their Facebook audiences. And we saw many advertisers, Mercedes was a great example that jumped to mind, where they were actually including calls to action inside of their Facebook posts to encourage their audiences over to Instagram and really getting a lot of interplay between those two platforms rather than treating them as isolation. And that's a really great early indicator of a broader thing that I believe is happening right now across all brands, which is thinking about your social audience as opposed to just your Twitter audience or just your Facebook audience, but thinking of them as this big, cohesive, integrated audience that you need to be really thinking through your communications for.